where is, um, you know, we talked to you the other night about Dwayne. Mm -hmm. Now he goes to Ty and they make the change. Mm -hmm. where, do you, where is your friend mentally? How, how is he doing? Uh, I think he's in a good place. I think the first week, like he told y'all, was a long week for him, just trying to adjust to the new system, adjust to what we're trying to do. And it's not, I don't think it's just him. I mean, obviously he, he has the name, but I think there's a lot of guys that are trying to adjust as well. Jay as well, you know, D Rose as well, you know, all the new guys, Jeff Green as well. We're all trying to figure out, you know, how can we help these guys get acclimated as quickly as possible. And, uh, but this is a marathon and he knows it and he's been a part of it. And, uh, you know, and it's not a sprint. So, you know, week two, uh, it's going to be much better than week one for all of us. With Dwayne in particular, how does him having the ball in his hands and, and running the offense, how do you think that will unlock maybe something that's been missing? Well, he'll do a little bit of both. I mean, uh, he will have a ball in his hands uh, to kind of initiate the offense, his ability to play, make it get guys involved, and also, you know, get himself involved as well. But uh, he's, a, he's also a pure two guard as well, where he play off the ball somewhere. You know, we can get him some post outs, get him some run outs. I think that's uh, that's very key to his game too. I've known him for a long time, and him just getting an easy layup on the break or, or, or getting to the free throw early in the game kind of opens it up for him. So but we got to do a better job with that and um, you know, getting him some easy ones. Ty talked about having you know a future Hall of Famer come to him and say this says a lot about. I'm sure you're not surprised about Wayne. No, that's not surprising to me. I've been around him too long. Outside of all the players you have, are your packages that much different? You know, the, the stuff you're trying to run with the new players? Um, no, no. Our, our system hasn't changed much. Uh, we have put in some new packages, but it hasn't changed much. Uh, it's just that the new guys learn the packages and learn uh, what we want to accomplish and learn what we want to do. So, you know, um, that's going to take a little time. Has it been different for you? Um, if you go back to last year, the first few years when you were here, there was so much layups and threes and the three-point percentage. You guys were near the top and the attempts per game near the top and made threes per game. And I know it's just three games or anything like that, but to see you guys like near the bottom with the point things like way up high, has that been difficult to, to manage? No, I think we just played the game. We haven't really uh, gotten into, you know, let's shoot more threes here, let's get in the paint here. We just played the first three games as it's been played. Um, you know, I think our our team right now is fitting to be more in the paint um, as the season go on. And IT at some point he'll come back. That will give our game even more of an outside presence as well. But we can mix it up. We can mix it up with the whatever the game presents itself. If we need more threes, we can shoot more threes. As we did in the second half in the Milwaukee game in the first half, we didn't we couldn't buy one. Second half we finally got it going, and uh, that definitely opened up for all of us. Do you think? Um, Dwayne going to the second unit affects how long you play in the second unit? Um, probably. Probably. Which is like that. Because you guys, you played so much with Corver in Milwaukee and, you know, you had, you had all those threes. Yeah, I think that was that was actually just a, a product of the game. D-Wade was actually at the scores table at the three and a half minute mark. And we got it going, we hit a run, and... You know, Coach Lou sat him down so we could start the fourth. That was just how the game went. So I was coming out at the three and a half minute mark, but the game was flowing. Kyle was making shots. There was no fouls. There was no timeouts, and I just stayed in for the rest of the quarter. So that's kind of like the inside of the game that people don't see. Uh, so um, you know, I will play with the second unit. D-Wade is going to play a lot with the second unit. Uh, it's going to be the game presents different challenges. 